EPS it's earning per share as per international accounting standard number 33 you are required to sh disclose earning per share on the bottom of statement of your profit and loss account so now let us uh, see types of shares okay we have basics basic share and we have diluted share in basic shares we have uh, one share called full price and we have one bonus and we have one rights this are the original shares original shares which means originally which which is there in the market original share this is second type of share this one is called convertible bond and this one is share options what exactly the full price full price is nothing but an ordinary shares what is a now let us discuss about bonus bonus share what is bonus share bonus share are nothing but a share which is given for free to the existing shareholder like example i have 100 shares so they will say the one who hold 100 share for every 10 share we are giving one share for free so it means i have 100 shares so i got 10 share free this is a bonus share so what is a right share right shares are combination of full price plus bonus share most of them get got confused okay full price is example you will go to the market you will see the market rate okay it's 10 10 dollars you will go ahead and you will purchase that's a full price what exactly how can it be a full price with the bonus what exactly you will have is you will get a at half price or less price than market example in the market you're, you're getting for 150 they will say okay we'll give it for you 120 so you're getting a 30 dollar less price than market to the existing shareholders those are called rights ish right shares all right and let us now we'll start one example okay then we have uh, convertible bonds and we have share options and we will discuss about it in the next next day so let's start the example so start of the year start of the year january 2016 uh shares were around 2000 okay and we have acquired uh, 300 back from the market so the outstanding it's 1700 many times what exactly happened in the market is the prices shoots so it's prices some 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 some, some time to shoot up because it's, it's about market demand and supply so sometime we have to go ahead and we have to buy back the shares so this is like buying back or acquiring share back then in the month of may 31st we saw that okay the 800 was sold issued oh so it's good so now we have 2500 on the march 31st 2016 then on the 1st of december 2016 we have purchased back 250 again so right now we have 2250 balance oh my god now what exactly it is now you can see here 2800 then after that from here 2250 we'll have something like 250 something change here <laughs> 800 and it is it's 850 something change here so now let's let us go for the balance of the year this is an year in balance at the 31st december 31st December balance 
okay all right so entire year we have distributed this much we have uh, purchased back this much and this is the closing balance january january 2016 1700 till 31st of may which means five months okay then after that 2500 we can see six months then we have 2250 which is only for one month so now what what we're gonna do just we're gonna take each and everything right off make it and all right one by one slowly slowly we got the answer let me just calculate it, it calculate oh it's seven zero eight plus one thousand two hundred and fifty plus one eight eight then we i got an answer of two thousand four hundred and two two thousand one hundred and forty six let's take an example all right seven zero eight one two eight so this is an total share which we have to take earning per shares so we have a profit example five hundred thousand profit we have so what we're going to do five hundred thousand divided by five one four six so let's take the calculator and make it fast fast here it goes where I have 500,000 then I have divided with uh, 2146 so somewhere around 232.99 this is earning per share but the normally you know uh, this it's 2146 all right guys thank you for watching please do leave a comments or please leave a fee feedback and we are going to start to you we are going to discuss about uh, bonus shares right shares convertible bonds and i'm going to explain you through each and every example hope you guys like this video thank you for listening